In this step, we're going to finish the program. In each of your functions for the cards, you need to add some new code. We have to first add some variables for this. You'll notice that at the top I do have two new import statements. These are going to be critical towards the end because we're going to have a timer delay so that you can see both cards as they're turned over for two seconds before they flip back over. So you need to have import flash.utils.timer, which flash will automatically put in, and import flash.events.timer event, which it will not. So you need to manually add that. And you'll see we've got a section of new variables. We have a count, which we're setting to a number type to count to see if we've matched all of our pairs. Used, true, false. Turned, which is a number type. Matched, which is a number type. Up one, which is a number. Up card one, number. Up card two, number. And up two, number. The card class hasn't changed. We still have create cards and assign values. Create cards hasn't changed. Assign values hasn't changed. You'll see that I've commented out where we were checking the order before. But for each of the card functions, we've had to add some new code. So we've added if turned equals equals one. And notice we are incrementing turned at the beginning of each function. You have to do this in each one. If turned equals one, up one equals my frame. Up card one equals zero. If turned equals two, which means that's the second card we've turned over, up two equals my frame. Up card two equals zero, and we call the check match function. So each card's function has to have turned added to it, as well as the if turned equals one, up one equals my frame, up card equals one. Notice we're getting that from right here. So if it's up card one, it's one here. Up card two would be one here. It's got to match the current card that we're on. And in each case here, we would call check match. Now check match actually is going to run a timer. So check match, we're going to create a variable of a timer type of a new timer. It counts in milliseconds, and we're going to count it for two seconds. This is actually a little long. You can change this to one for the final. My timer dot add event listener timer event timer complete. This will call the check it function. Then we actually have to start the timer. It'll wait two seconds each time that function is called. Then it'll run check it. Variable send it number equals zero. If the two cards that it sends up one and up two match we're going to make them invisible. We're going to take them off the board because they're matched. We'll increment the matched variable and if matched equals four we'll trace that you win. Else we're going to flip all of the cards back over. Send them back to frame one. We'll said send it to zero and turned equals to zero. So let's try it. All of my cards are here. I'm getting the pointing hand. That's a six. That's a seven. They don't match. They'll flip back over in two seconds. That's a nine. That's a seven. They don't match. They'll flip back over. Seven and seven, they should disappear. Nine and nine, they should disappear. Eight and eight, they should disappear. Six and six, they should disappear. And it'll tell us you win. So I've put a PDF out there of all of the code, because I know it can be confusing jumping from piece to piece. You need to modify this to have all eight cards from your clip. You're going to need to make the whole stage taller. You're going to have to change the dimensions on the stage. You're going to have to display 16 cards and have it all work for 16 cards instead of eight. That's your assignment for next week.